Welcome to Cha Cha's Queendom. It's summertime, so I need to show you this super delicious Taiwanese cold noodle. This is actually a signature midnight street food in Taiwan. All the taxi drivers or when you go clubbing, you drink too much and you get out of it, you need to go home. Before you go home, guess where you go? You go to this Taiwanese cold noodle shop. It's plain noodles, but topped with this Oh my god, sensational, garlicky, flavorful sauce on top of it. And you always have to also order a bowl of yummy hot meatball soup or meatball with miso soup. And remember when I lived in Taiwan with the kids and sometimes my husband will come and visit and because of the jet lag and because of the time difference that he has to work, you know, according to the US time, a lot of time in the middle of the night I will wake up and then I'll find the house without my husband. Because my dear husband is riding my lady bike with a little basket with a little flower on top of it to this Taiwanese cold noodle shop. And every morning I'll have this garlic breath husband waking me up and say, hey, I got a box of this cold noodle for you. And I'll be like, okay, I'll forgive you. Anyways, but in the US, it's really hard to find that kind of oil noodle that we use for this dish. What is oil noodle? Oil noodle is actually the kind of noodle that they put in this dietary alkali in there. And unlike most noodles, you want to eat it fresh right out of the water. This kind of noodle, you cook it, you drain it, and you mix it with some kind of oil. For me, I would do sesame oil. And then you kind of cool it down and you eat it after it's cooled now. And it's hard for me to find the same kind of oil noodle here in the US. But guess what? We found out that the Italian spaghetti, or some people prefer angel hair, it's personal preference, but these noodles, you cook them, you mix them with sesame oil, and then you cool it down and actually taste just like the oil noodles. And to make a successful Taiwanese cold noodle, it's all about that sauce, okay? So today I want to show you this simple recipe with these ingredients. You're going to make a sensational, delicious sauce that you can use it for the Taiwanese cold noodle. You can also use it as a dipping sauce. Now, would you please like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the little bell for notifications? Now, let's get started. So here are the ingredients today. We need lots of garlic, rice vinegar, sugar, sesame oil for the sauce, and some extra for the noodle later, and soy sauce, and Taiwanese sesame paste. Okay, when you are buying these Taiwanese sesame paste, you want to take a look at the ingredients because sometimes there are some peanut butter in there. So if you're allergic to peanut butter, you want to be super careful with it. And Taiwanese sesame paste is different from the tahini sesame paste because we use roasted sesame and most tahini paste use the raw sesame. So ours is a little more fragrant in this case. And also peanut butter. And if you're allergic to peanut butter, you can totally opt this out. But this does give another layer of flavor and some water. And of course the spaghetti. And to make this dish more refreshing and more healthy, we top the noodle with the cucumber and the mung bean sprout. And there's another secret ingredient that I'm gonna show you in the end that I'm gonna add on to this dish to make this dish pop even more and bring it to another level. And let's make this sauce first. This sauce requires no cooking skills. Really, you just need to be able to put all the ingredients in the blender and blend it until it's smooth. Easy enough, right? So first, I'm going to put in the garlic because I need to blend it to really fine. So I'm going to start with it. And then I'm going to add in a little water to help it get finer. Scrape the side down. And then next, is my sesame paste. Peanut butter and rice vinegar. And 
And then the rest of the ingredient, which is soy sauce, sesame oil, and sugar. Blend it until well mixed and smooth. My peanut butter doesn't have any sugar in there, but if yours does, you probably want to start with less sugar and add to your taste. It's ready. Now let's give it a taste. God, this is so good. Oh, man. Let's hurry up and make the noodles so we can finish this dish and I can show you my secret ingredients. And for the noodles, it's just as how you would cook your spaghetti. So boil a hot pot of water and some salt. And then put in your noodle and cook it until al dente or however done is you prefer. And while we're waiting for our noodles to be cooked, we're gonna julienne our Japanese or Asian cucumber. And for the mung bean sprout, you can have two options. You can either just put it on top of the noodle, raw like this, so it's super crunchy, or like my family, we like to give it a quick hot bath. It's just a dip in the hot water, so it's not all the way cooked through, so it's still got that crunchy texture. For maybe just like 10 seconds. Now we're just gonna take the spaghetti out. And then we're gonna add in some sesame oil. And then we just kind of stir it. And then you wanna pull it up so that you know it can get cooled down. If you're not in a rush, you can just let it sit there for about 30 minutes. So let it cool down completely and then top with the sauce. Or if you're in a rush or if you just have the fan available, you can also use a fan to blow it while cooling it. Now it's cooled down, we just assembly it. And then we're gonna drizzle some of this amazing sauce on top of it. And you don't wanna be stingy, okay? You wanna be generous, okay? It's all about the sauce. A little more for myself, yes. And for some texture and make it refreshing, we're gonna put some cucumber on top and some mung bean sprout on top. Now, here is my secret ingredients. It's Cha Cha's chili oil. It's made with premium goose fat and amazing spices. If you just smell it, I tell you, you will not be able to be happy with any other chili oil in the market, okay? And in Taiwan, in these kind of cold noodle shop, they do offer you the spicy or non-spicy version. And I tell you, with my chili sauce, you gotta go with spicy. Let's put it on top. I know, I know you wanna ask me, how can you get Jaja's chili oil? Okay, it's gonna be available hopefully in August. So if you wanna pre-order it or you wanna be on the list that I can notify you when it's available, remember to email to chajasqueenum at gmail.com. So I have your email and I can email the information to you when it's ready. Now let's dig in. You first gotta stir it really well, okay? You wanna make sure that sauce is all over the noodles. Oh gosh. I can smell that sesame, that garlic, I tell you, and my chili oil. Fragrant, I'm telling you what that's defined fragrant, okay? It smells so good and tastes amazing. All right, now let me take a good bite. Oh! Gosh, this flavor takes me right back to 
the alley where my husband will sneak out in the middle of the night and bring me that garlic breast. <laughs> it's so good. This is like explosion of flavor in your mouth. You really need to give it a try in this summer. It's refreshing but so flavorful. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the little notification bell. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.